This is Steve. Steve is a data engineer in a multinational company. He is responsible for designing, developing, and maintaining data warehouse and analytics architecture to meet his company's business analysis and reporting needs. The data warehouse that Steve is dealing with is still the traditional on-premise data warehouse architecture. Because of this, data warehousing projects have become synonymous with being lengthy, expensive, inflexible, and complex. There are a few problems that Steve has to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, and these problems are associated with such traditional data warehouses. First, if you didn't want users and workloads to compete for resources, then you have to create data mats and then copy data to them. This is a tedious task, and it takes up a lot of time. Next, traditional data warehouses were not built for semi-structured data such as JSON, APRO, and XML. This requires either transforming the data into a structured form before you load it in the data warehouse or having a separate system altogether which is dedicated for the semi-structured data. Steve then thought of using Hadoop as a solution to solve these problems. But data solutions like Hadoop cannot replace the traditional data warehouse and they come with the significant challenges of their own such as inadequacy for low latency queries, not being suitable for small data files, and high deployment complexity. Steve wanted a solution that allows him to store and analyze diverse data far more easily and quickly without spending time, effort, and money in handling the infrastructure that is related to this data. So after researching on the internet, Steve then came up with a solution called Snowflake. In contrast with the traditional data warehouse solutions, Snowflake provides a data warehouse which is faster, easy to set up, and far more flexible. Snowflake has some of the unique innovations that easily solves the problems related to the traditional data warehouses. First, it has a unique architecture that is able to provide complete elasticity. Next, it has a database engine that handles both semi-structured and structured data without sacrificing performance or flexibility. And third, it has a technology that eliminates the need for manual data warehouse management and tuning. So now let us deep dive into the main question of this video, what is Snowflake? So Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehousing platform and it is a true software as a service offering. Snowflake is the first analytics database built with cloud and delivered in the form of data warehouse as a service. It can run on popular cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. There is no hardware or software needed to install, configure, and manage, and it runs entirely on public cloud infrastructure. It is an ideal solution for data warehousing, data engineering, data lakes, data science, and for developing data applications. But what makes it stand out is the, its architecture and the data sharing capabilities. So Snowflake's architecture is built for the cloud. Its unique multi-cluster architecture delivers performance, concurrency, and elasticity that organizations require. It handles all the aspects of authentication, resource management, optimization, data protection, configuration, availability, and much more. Snowflake features compute, storage, and global service layers which are physically separated but logically integrated. So now let us understand how Snowflake differs from the traditional data warehouse architecture. Snowflake combines the benefits of both shared disk architecture and shared nothing architecture in an innovative and a new design. Snowflake processes the queries using the massively parallel processing compute clusters where each node in the cluster stores a part of the entire data set locally. The Snowflake data warehouse architecture consists of three layers. The first layer is the database storage. This layer holds all the data loaded in the Snowflake, including structured and semi-structured data. Snowflake automatically manages all the aspects of how the data is stored, organization, file size, structure, compression, metadata, and statistics. This storage layer runs independently of compute resources. The second layer is the compute layer. The compute layer is made up of virtual warehouses that execute data processing tasks required for queries. Each virtual warehouse can access all the data in the storage layer and then work independently so that warehouses do not share or compete for compute resources. This enables non-disruptive automatic scaling, which means that while queries are running, compute resources can scale without the need to redistribute or rebalance the data in the storage layer. And the third layer is the cloud services layer. This layer uses ANSI SQL and coordinates the entire system. It eliminates the need for manual data warehouse management and tuning. So services in this layer include authentication, infrastructure management, metadata management, query parsing and optimization, and access control. By design, all of these layers are independently scalable and are redundant. I hope you guys now have an idea of what is Snowflake and how does it work. So thank you so much for being with us.